this is Terry. I'm going to show you a very important hack today. Oh, there goes the wiggy. One of the hacks is keep the front burner and then you put her on the back burner. But then you can reach over to grab it with your hand. Otherwise, okay, Lizzie. Okay, you have a fabulous, fabulous whistle. I use a push and pull sometimes when I'm from this from this direction, I do use this called the push and pull that will turn it, but I do like my hack. It saves a little time. Um, this is a fabulous, I bought this at a estate sale, my God. This is like an old English stainless steel that they don't make these anymore. I've had these for several years and, and it kind of, you, you can tighten it by tightening it up here. It's just it's a self-contained unit that gives me hot water for various things, like for my hot water bottles in the winter time. Also, I'm going to start out with my what I'm really doing this video for. Why did why is sorry my lights on, but I'll just leave it on. It's okay. I need my doctor wants a fecal sample. Now this will be good for anybody. Usually they give you these big plastic things you put over the toilet, and it's just a mess. Now this is not a good cup. It's too. It's too flimsy. These little hard plastic cups are what you need. And they're not that tall. And what you do is you, you, sometimes you do the number one and the number two at the same time when you're getting a sample. This you just put over the number two hole, okay? And you, you can get some, you don't mess up the sample. And so what I'm doing right now with Lizzie is I'm going to, Usually you get a new one, but I always, before a test, you want to take and sterilize it. So I got a, my little mixing bowl in there. We're going to put her in there. And, of course, what we've got to do is move Lizzie. There she goes. There she goes. This is a little tricky, especially holding a phone. <laughs> Let's hope that Terry doesn't burn herself, okay? I know this is a little scary, but hey, it makes my, my video more interesting. You'll see me get third degree burns right on the video. That'll go viral. That won't be such a bad thing, right? Okay, we're running her along the counter. Let's move my chicken there. Okay, get her on here. Usually, I'm going to stop you just a second because I have a hard time doing this. So just wait a second, you can look up. So what we do is we put this on my hand. We put this on my hand and then we, there we go. Boy, this is rotten, but when you're doing it yourself, that's all you can do. I got a little bit there, but we can do it. Okay, that's good enough. That's hot, hot water. So we did get, we did get it burned. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> so we're gonna run it along the counter and hold on to the top part, which is not, is very good. There, onto the, safe on the stove. And then what we do is we just kind of run this around and then um, plastic itself isn't hard to touch. It's just don't get the water on you. We're going to put her down there. There, and she's going to... Okay, so now we got her in my drain. And we can put other things in there since we have, you know, these sponge things are kind of gross. So let's put them in there and Get it bacteria, get the bacteria off there. And also my little um, my little scrubby brush, which I love. This is for only for um, my coffee. I have a little coffee thing and it, it washes my coffee filters. So. so it's not for other things. So anyways, so this is it. So this is my hat. 
And um, thank you. I wish I could turn this thing off. I don't know how to turn turn off the the light. But 